hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this continuous looping text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition and we will call it as main animation and width I'm going to choose 1920 height 180 frame rate is 30 duration let's say 30 second long and background color this time we are going to choose white color and simply hit ok. Then I'm going to go in my choose grid and guide option and I'll hit on titles affection. Then select our text tool and I'm going to choose Poppins font and let's choose medium version of it. Initially, let's make this distance between alphabets uh, up to zero. And now we will type our first text. So I'm going to type over here is motion like this. Let's select this text and let's choose bold version of this text. I think this looks good. Now select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. And font size, I'm going to choose 150 and go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now go to the paragraph options and make sure that you are choosing center text go to the character menu and increase the distance between this alphabet to let's say 500 i think this looks good to me now let's select this text and we will do our animation portion so select this go to the animate options and we are going to choose position now let's bring this position downwards now go to the range selector create one keyframe at the start and then go to somewhere around 1.20 frames and let's make this value totally 100. Now select those keyframes and hit F9 then go to the graph editor right click and make sure to choose edit speed graph. Select this by holding shift I'll move one handle over here and one handle over here like this. So if you see this animation we will get something like this. But along with that I want tracking animation also so I'll go to the add menu I'll choose properties and I'm going to choose tracking and now we will increase this tracking amount somewhere around like this so if you see we will get this kind of animation okay now we will create one masking for the sec text so let's create our rectangles tool and we will create one mask layer for this which is up to like that then select your text tool uh, and press F4 to, so we can see the track mat option and choose alpha mat. So now if you see this animation you will get something like this. Then press F4 and enable this motion blur. So if you see this we will get something like this. So this is for motion. So select both the layers press ctrl shift C and let's call this layer as motion and hit ok. Now see, uh, go to the uh, project window over here if you cannot see that simply hit ctrl 0. So you can switch between these so i'm gonna hit ctrl 0 to open the project window then select this motion composition over here and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and hit enter and let's call it as design or let's say graphics and hit ok go inside this uh, graphics comp uh, let's select this text over here and we will change this motion text into graphics so select your text tool again and let's name it as graphics so now we will get different uh, animation like this okay go to the main animation make sure to enable this icon select this graphics over here and make sure to enable this icon okay so if you see we will get something like this now press p for position well, both the positions are same so what we are going to do let's select both the layers press s and let's make the scale up to 80 or let's say 60 so we will get something like this select both the layers press p for position let's choose a position of this one to 100 and this one to 200 so as you guys can see the distance between this uh, you know layers is to 100 uh, units so select both of them and hit ctrl d and let's bring both the layers downwards and press p again and we are going to change the distance of this one on y axis is 300 and this one is 400 select uh, all of them again and hit ctrl d and let's bring them downward press p for position uh, select this layer choose uh, 500 this one should be 600 this one 700 and this one 800 okay select the last four layers and hit ctrl d and let's bring them at the bottom and press p for position select this one uh, and uh, choose 900 1000 
1100 and 1200 okay like this so if i see this stuff now i'll get this kind of animation so let's make this court resolution and now i'm gonna go in one second i'll select this graphics and uh, i'll move this over here then i'll go to two seconds and i'll move this one over here with the help of open bracket uh, so we will do that uh, adjustment so we are taking the difference of one one second for each and every comp eight seconds this over here move this over here move this over here move this over here okay so now if you see this you will get something like this okay so our main purpose of this animation is ready now simply right click new and create one null object select all of them and let's make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s and let's increase the size of it somewhere around like this then press p for position and let's bring this downwards somewhere around like this that this graphics should be over here or uh, you can bring this down until you will get this motion uh, should touch this one or let's move this upward make sure that this uppermost layer which is this one it should touch oh uh, sorry don't change the this one select this null object and with the help of down arrow keys and up arrow keys you can adjust it and make sure that this motion text uh, layer should touch uh, this uh, line now select this position and now we will go somewhere around let's say at this point maybe which is this one uh, i mean from six layer so i'll go to the four second and i'll press b over here then go somewhere around this layer over here and i'm going to select this uh, or let's go to the start first of all at four seconds and now we need some guidelines to make this thing in the form of loop so i'll press ctrl r to bring my ruler over here and let's make this full resolution and now as you guys know this position of g is over here so we need to create some marking for that so let's bring one line over here whether it should touch the bottom of this g and one line should be over here where it should get like this and one line from here so now uh, we will understand that this g or all of this alphabet should be inside this so let's adjust this properly and we will select this null object we will create one keyframe at position and then uh, we will go somewhere around let's say over here maybe select this and let's bring this totally up to here until that g should come inside this box so let's with the help of arrow keys i'll adjust it over here okay and then hit n over here so over here your animation is going to end so this is how you can create this kind of continuous loop and if you want uh, like uh, if you think that this is quite upward uh, it should start from here then what you can do you can go few frame forward like somewhere around over here you can select those keyframes and you can move them over here also and uh, then at this point i'll hit b and then at this point i'll hit n like this and let's hit play you will get something like this okay and then uh, if you want this it should start a little bit downward and because they are already on the form of loop you can select those keyframes and then uh, you can move them downwards if you do that uh, this is going to be in the form of loop like this okay but uh, i would suggest that you don't need to do that because you will get some trouble over here so uh, instead of that uh, let's uh, keep it as it is you don't need to move this position because we have already created guidelines so yep this is how you can create this continuous looping animation inside of after effects and then don't forget to press ctrl y and create one solid background layer and you can bring this at the back then right click new and you can create one adjustment layer at the top and then you can apply tint effect on it and you can change the color and you can swap this color whenever you want uh, like this okay so this is how you can create this kind of looping animation Yo.